every great brand deserve a logo that speaks volumes but what happens when your logo is stuck in low resolution fear not because today we are going to show you how to transform your low resolution logo into high resolution masterpiece using the power of photoshop whether you run a small business enjoy designing or just love graphic design this tutorial help you improve your logo skills create a memorable impact first we open our low resolution logo in photoshop let's press ctrl 0 to fit the canvas to the screen now you see here so many jagged edges and if i create a new layer and try to repaint the edges this is not gonna work why because this document is small have a look at this this document is just 177 by 200 pixel that's very small so if you cannot see the dimension right over here click on this small arrow and choose document dimension that way you will be able to see them now first of all increase the document dimensions so let's delete the layer we don't need that anymore go to image image size so let's increase it 2000 width and make sure this is checked that it maintains the aspect ratio it's okay pressing ctrl 0 to fit the screen it's pretty fine but still the edges have become smooth it's not straight enough we are first going to do is actually sample our color and so that we can edit them back later on so do that we will select eyedropper tool right here then we will make sure that our sample size is just set to point sample so that means you can sample really small areas of your logo if needed now we are going to go and click on the color of this logo here and now what that is done is in our swatches option here we have those color sample we can edit them back in after we do some magic here if you don't see the swatches option you can find it by going up to window and down here to swatches and then that will bring up this exact panel for you now that we have those colors sampled from our logo now we are going to desaturate this logo so it's only black and white to do that we can go to image adjustment and then desaturate that's going to make our logo black and white or gray depending on what colors are in your graphics now from here the next step is to add a slight blur to our logo to blend out any of the jagged edges so with your logo layer still selected we will go to filter blur gaussian blur now blur it to the point where the edges become smooth and seamless so let's decrease the volume of the radius all the way to 0.1 pixel and the dazual is start increasing it i guess i would stay with 15.3 pixel it's okay now what we got to do we gonna add some contrast to it you might ask why well let's zoom and let me show it to you why so have a look at the edge kind of the pixels which are closer to background they are light gray the pixels which are closer to the stroke they are dark gray what if we make light gray pixels completely white and the dark gray pixels completely black would not that become sharp which means that we are making the bright areas which are moderately bright brighter and we are making the dark areas darker so let's create a curves adjustment layer click on the adjustment layer icon and choose curves now what we gonna do we gonna gonna take the slider from the right to left it's make the brights brighter see that edge that i was talking about now once you are satisfied with the edge bring the left slider to the right just like that and there you go let's zoom out and have a look at this it's perfect now we need to go add back the color but before we do that we need to merge our two layers together otherwise we are going to get some distorted color so shift clicking between those two layers and then just press ctrl e to merge 
those layers and now we have everything on a single layer now we go to add back our color we are going to select our magic wand tool if you don't see it it's going to be under the object selection tool so if you see the object selection tool just click and hold and go to the magic wand tool and then we are going to select the logo now it's perfectly selected let's we expand the selection little more go to select modify expand expand it by one pixel it's okay now click on swatches and select our sample color then just press alt back press to fill it with our sample color now everything is fine looks good so now looking at our before and after side by side you can see huge difference that we have just created with this logo and if you have a document like this but you want to straighten your document like this just click on this video anyways i hope that this helped you low resolution logo become a high resolution and if it did make sure hit that like button down below as it really makes a huge difference and thank you so much in advance i will catch you back here next time for another new tutorial